Hello again, my name is Richard Santiago II and I'm a visual artist, a freelance artist of 24 years now. Uh, I'm making these videos for educational purposes. Uh, I want young up and up and coming artists to uh, learn from my mistakes and also hear background stories about uh, a few of my accomplishments as a freelance artist. In this video, I just want to talk about uh, Airbrush Action Magazine. In 1989, I received my first three copies of Airbrush Action Magazine from my first art teacher, uh, Miss Edie Johnson. Uh, may she rest in peace. Uh, I was fortunate enough to befriend Edie uh, in the 80s. And uh, when I lived in Miami, Florida, uh, Miss Johnson uh, sent me three copies of Airbrush Action Magazine. Well, when I got that magazine, um, basically, I was astounded. I mean, it was just so crazy how the artwork left an impression on me. And, um, you know, I just dr I just had dreams of one day being published in this magazine. Um, it wasn't until 27 years later in March of 2016 when that became a reality. Um, how that came about was uh, basically I um, checked my face my Facebook art page one day and I received a message from Brian Woodruff, the art director at Airbrush Action Magazine, and he basically said in the email, um, how would you like to be published in our magazine? I really like your airbrush work. So um, after corresponding for a few days, um, the requirements were to send him uh, 10 of my airbrush paintings at um, 300 DPI for um, high resolution for publishing and printing. So um, I complied, uh, I sent him 10 images of my airbrush paintings and um, it took about, I think two months and then um, it went from the email to the actual magazine, um, here it is, uh, being published and uh, uh, me being featured in it. Uh, basically this is the actual magazine. I got five of my pieces in it and um, uh, basically, it was just a really wild trip um, how it just all came about. Um, one of the reasons I'm making this video is also for educational purposes and um, I want young and up and coming artists who are watching this video to learn from my mistakes. I was so amazed that I was contacted by the art director of this magazine, a magazine that I had been collecting since 1989. That. Um, like all logic and all reasoning went straight out the window. I totally forgot about asking for money, does it pay, how much, negotiating, um, setting a price. I mean, all of that went straight out the window because I had been collecting this magazine since I was like uh, 12 years old, 13. I think I was 13 in 1989. Anyway, uh, to make a long story short, uh, I just basically asked him, you know, can I have a free copy of the book? Uh, and of the magazine and he says sure no problem so um, uh, in March of 2016 uh, I received a copy of of the magazine in the mail and I was excited I invited my mother over for dinner to show her and um, fortunately enough uh, may she rest in peace she was able to see one of my childhood dreams become a reality uh, right before she passed away it was really cool I got to show my mom that hey you know it, it actually happened uh, one of the lessons to learn about this uh, is that sometimes you just got to be patient. You know, it took 27 years from a thought to become a reality. And, um, you know, had I given up on art and like changed careers and become a mechanic or a truck driver, which were, were some of my options, some of my, my options, some of my, my uh, choices in, uh, for uh, an alternative career other than art, um, was to you know drive trucks or uh, you know whatever else become a mechanic or something I'm glad I stuck with art because um, the day finally came when I was actually published in this magazine this renowned world-famous magazine airbrush action which is fantastic to this day and um, not only that but um to date over the course of my 24 years as a freelance artist I've been published and featured 66 times in books magazines and various newspapers both both national and international so uh, that doesn't include websites or um, flyers or gig posters or web ads or anything like that. I'm just strictly talking about 66 times in books, newspapers, and magazines. So the lesson to learn here is um, be patient and uh, 
even though it may be a childhood dream, you got to think about reality. Um, there are bills to pay. Um, if you're a teenager or a minor watching this video, uh, definitely think about uh, the future. When you get older, you're going to have rent to pay. Uh, you're going to have electric bill. You're going to have your cell phone bill. So um, I think the mistake I made with Airbrush Action Magazine was that I didn't uh, ask them, does it pay? How much? And can we negotiate? You know, I didn't, that, that went straight out the window. I was totally thinking about, wow, I'm going to be in this magazine. And it actually happened in March of uh, 2016. Um, it featured five of my pieces. Um, two of them have been published previously and the others had not. So that was really cool to see some of my work uh, uh, catch the eye of the art director and for him to feature it in the magazine. Uh, I hope you like this video. I hope uh, you learned something uh, from my story or from my mistakes and it helps you in the future to become a better artist. Look out for future videos. If you'd like to contact me, uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can reach me at um, R Santiago Art under social media, Facebook and Instagram, or you can email me at rsantiagoart at gmail.com. Thanks again, and uh, look out for future videos. Thanks a lot.